guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share about the things that i buy from poundland to clean and make my house smell nice um, so we we'll just get straight into it the first thing that i buy to clean is this astonish mildew blaster mold and mildew blaster if you live in the uk most of you might um, have problems with black mold in the bathroom especially and the kitchen anywhere where there is a lot of moisture and water and this is really good at blasting away the mildew you just spray on the surface leave it for a few minutes and then you come and rinse and that's it you don't even need to scrub it but this does not work well on vertical surfaces because it is quite watery and it does not form so this is only a pound so it works on surfaces that are flat and i like using it on those but when i have to use it on vertical walls like on tiles and stuff i I use Silip Bang. I also get this from Poundland sometimes. It is two pounds from Poundland. You can find it in other supermarkets as well for two pounds. That's why I was not focusing on it because it's not a Poundland specific item for two pounds. But the Astonish is really a pound and that is a good buy. The next thing that I buy from Poundland is... Um, It's really nearly finished. I, I need to buy some more. Uh, some malt vinegar. Um, vinegar is only 50p from Poundland. And I use it with baking soda to just make my drain smell nice. You just pour in the, you just put a, a spoonful of baking powder into your drain and you add the vinegar and then it just cleans away. After a few minutes, you just rinse with running water and that's it, you're done. It is a very cost effective way to just make your drain smell nice. And also if you're cleaning the fridge or, the, or your oven, you can use the same combination. For your oven, you'd have to make a paste out of the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda. But I can go all day about the uses of vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. But I'm sure you already know some of them. So that's what I buy from Poundland because it is only 50p and for a pound you get two. The next thing that I buy from Poundland is the pink stuff. They also have the spray and the paste. This is really good for cleaning the stove and the sink and any pots that have got stuff that's stuck on them or burnt on them. Um, don't use it on non-stick pots obviously they shouldn't be sticking but um, if you've got stainless steel pots and you cook things like sadza for <laughs> those who are from Zimbabwe would know that or pap that sticks to the pot and you end up with black residue or if you just burn any food in a stainless steel pot and it's not coming off with a normal scrub, this will work it is tough. It, it scratches a little bit. That's why I would not recommend it unless it is the last resort. But it works really well when nothing else will. I also use a little bit on my stove if I've got stains that are really stuck in there. My stove is about 12 years old now. So it does have some marks that will not come off. But this does a good job of cleaning it. Whilst on the same uh, note of cleaning the stove, I also use these soap uh, filled scourer pads just for day to day cleaning of the stove. These pads um, are quite big and when you use it and leave it, it sometimes rusts the iron if you leave it for too long. So the heck I've come up with is to cut it in half and then put the halves in a bottle and I use half at a time. So the half can keep for maybe three, four days or even a week without rusting and you still be reusing the, 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 the scorer. 
Um, you can also use it to score pans and pots and anything that's got stuck on food. These ones uh, do not scratch as much as the pink stuff. They're a bit softer, but they're really good uh, for cleaning the stove and the pots and pans. The next thing that I use to clean is the flora. It comes in many different scents. I've thrown away the bottles because I was putting them away, but they come in many different scents. I love the bouquet and the country garden. They also have fresh linen, which I do like, especially in springtime. Um, if you go now at Christmas, you might find some Christmassy scents. So yeah, these are lovely. They kill bacteria. You just dilute one in 40 with water and just use it to clean whatever surface really because it's a, it's, it acts as an antibacterial. But they really smell good. The places that I use the flora are my bins. When I've cleaned out my bin, I put a few drops of safflora on a paper towel sheet and then just layer it in the bin and then put my bin liner. Every time you open the bin, it just smells good. And then the other thing I use them for is I just fill the sink with water, warm water, not fill it, just put some water in the sink and then I pour a bit of safflora in there as I'm cleaning and just doing stuff around the house. The smell permeates the whole house. Um, you can use them in the bathroom or the kitchen. And also you can just wipe uh, your radiators with a bit of Zaflora. So when you turn them on, the whole house starts smelling really fresh and really, really lovely. So these are a pound. They do sell bigger ones, about 240 mils, I think. They should be double of this. And they sell them for two pounds. These are only a pound. The next thing I buy are antibacterial wipes. They have these big floor ones that I used to buy for a pound. And they will be... 30 of them I like to think in there you could use them to clean the floor but now they've gone up to three pounds probably because of what's going on in the world but thank goodness they still have the small ones uh, for a pound it says they kill 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria so I use these ones to clean my um, the bin as well when I've emptied the bin, I just grab a wipe and wipe it down and I wipe the lid down. That's not for my thorough cleaning of the bin, but for when you empty the bin every day. So when I empty the bin, I just clean with this and put it in the bin because they do not flush. You can also use them to clean the toilet. Um, yeah like during between your normal cleans of the toilet you can just wipe the toilet seat with antibacterial wipes and place them in the bin they smell really nice these ones are apple and apricot i do love them and also you you get lemon and mandarin which also smells nice i use these wipes as well to clean doorknobs um because you know we are always touching these surfaces um, light switches, all the surfaces that people would normally touch. You can just wipe them down with antibacterial wipes maybe once or twice a day and you're good to go. The next thing that I buy uh, to make my house clean and smell nice from Poundland are these Hapik blocks. I've already removed one. So you just uh, take the block out and you hook it over the toilet. It has to be a clean bowl. So after you've cleaned your bowl, you just um, put them over, hook them over on the side 
and every time you flush the water just hits the block and then it gets activated and you get this lovely scent coming out of the bowl and it also cleans the bowl in between your cleaning um, your cleans so during the day you're not going to be cleaning the toilet countless times but every time someone flushes the toilet it gets a bit of a clean and it also smells really nice they've got many scents but i just brought a bought citrus and grapefruit and this is two pounds but each one lasts about three weeks depending obviously on how often your toilet is used Right, the next thing that I do buy are these Airwick scents. They're also two pounds and they smell really nice. Um, they have a test scent here. You, you just rub it and you smell it. So you can actually test them in the shop. I don't know if that's advisable now in times of COVID, but they smell really nice. I use them all over the place in my house, mostly in cupboards that might otherwise smell really bad, like the shoe cupboard. Um, of course you clean the cupboard and everything and everything, but shoes always smell. You know shoes smell when you, you put in six different, <laughs> when you put in shoes belonging to six different people, there's bound to be a smell in there. So I put this in my, in my shoe cupboard. They, I also got it in this scent. It's called marshmallow, raspberry and rose mystical garden. This one is linen in the air. It's got green, green apple, crisp linen and fresh air. I haven't used this one. They can last up to a month. So it, it's a really good, really good investment. And in Poundland, they are only two pounds. Um, yeah, I think they're really good. You get many different scents as well. The final thing that I buy from Poundland are candles. If you saw my last video on um, what's in Poundland Home, you would have seen that they've got a variety of candles that are a pound each and they smell amazing. But I normally buy this ones, this type um, Glade because I just love the scent and I can smell it in the shop. Whereas the other ones, you'd have to actually purchase it and then come and smell it at home when you've opened the package. So this one is two pounds, but it lasts four weeks. And candles are a really good thing to use in the house if you don't have little kids, because if you have little children, it's a bit difficult. You'd have to watch the candle all the time. But if you do not have little kids and pets <laughs> that are gonna cause a fire these are really good for keeping the house smelling fresh so after even after you've done the dishes and cleaned the kitchen after cooking sometimes the smell of food lingers or wherever you've eaten the food and i find that a candle is the best way to dispel those smells and you just fill the house with whatever scent you will have chosen this one is called Oud Desire. It's infused with essential oils. So you know it's just going to be a great, great smell. And it will just fill the whole house. So yeah, these are some of the things I buy from Poundland. It's not an exhaustive list, but I thought I should share um, the top few things that I do buy from Poundland. I so I hope you enjoyed um, this video and thank you for watching to the end. Comment in the box below if there's anything that you use uh, from Poundland um, that I might want to try as well. Until next time, this is Lindy. Bye.